There are a lot of Filipino Americans in need of a bone marrow transplant, including Clara Jane, a six year old Filipina Egyptian Spaniard with leukemia. Unfortunately, mixed race patients have a more difficult time of finding a perfect match. Claire Jane is most likely to match with someone who is of the same ethnic background since genetic type is inherited. All it takes is a simple cheek swab mailed to your home to enter the registry, and you could save a life like Claire Jane's. So join me, Mike, Elaine, and soon to be Ryan in becoming a part of the registry. Learn more by going to www.bethematch.org. Thanks. My secret, just do something that ain't nobody ever done before, but make it sound like something that's always been there forever. Welcome to This Filipino American Life, a podcast that explores the nuanced experiences of Filipinos in the United States. Atibapa. My name is Joe Bernardo, and I'm joined by my fellow hosts, Ryan Carpio, Elaine Delalis, and Mike, producer Mike. Yes. <laughs> producer Mike, the people's champ. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Measure J is the people's champ, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very local people's... political reference, but yes. Shoot was... the Measure J. Stupid. Right. Shoot the <laughs> he was the people's champ for Halloween, apparently. Yeah, so I wore like a a shirt that had like a fake Lakers logo, but it said like Measure J, which is a local initiative here, um, which I'm not going to explain right now. Um, and then I had the Lakers champion hat, like Lane's Lakers champion hat. And then I had Staples Center in the background. Um, and I was like, yeah, my costume is I'm the people's champ because this measure is for the people. <laughs> Yay. So. Lakers. We are the champions, my friend. Go Dodgers! Yes, yes. go Dodgers. Also in my background. Yes. Dos, and, dos Angeles. Dos, dos. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so if you've been living under a rock, uh, you should have noticed that the Lakers and the Dodgers are champions this year. Uh, and us go being Dodgers. big... Big uh, LA fans. Dodger fans <laughs> and Lakers fans. Uh, we are celebrating. Uh, apologize if you're not a, a Laker fan or Dodger fan, but um, yeah, we have much to celebrate. Uh, which football this. team are you guys rooting for? <laughs> Yay! Since we have two, <laughs> LAFC <laughs> football <laughs> Raiders. <laughs> oh God, Lee. <laughs> No, Angel City, the the National Women's League team that's coming. Football. That's a new team. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, welcome back. How are you doing? Who? It's, it's the day after Halloween, but we didn't do anything. So, yeah. <laughs> what'd you do for Halloween? Oh, hey, wait! Before I go there. Today's episode is brought to you by the T-Pal, Kimmy Rodriguez. Yay, Kimmy. 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 Hey, we actually know Kimmy, so yay. Yay, hey, and she was, <laughs> <Yeah>. she, <laughs> she was a guest. She was a guest on our, our <laughs> Filipinos for Black Lives um, right. episode. She's the new executive director for Section of All Filipino Americans. <gasps> yeah. Congrats, Kimmy. Did you know that? No, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. long time community advocate. So, yeah, right on. Thank you, Kimmy. And if hey, you want to be a T pal, uh, just join a uh, Patreon, go to patreon.com slash T file podcast or Venmo me, <laughs> Venmo <laughs> Ryan directly. At <laughs> just Venmo sexy me. Ryan at onlyfans.com. <laughs> <laughs> put, put a couple of emojis in there, that'll make me um, know that it's for the podcast. You gotta put a couple dance emojis, dance Ryan, emojis. Will, <laughs> Ryan will dance for you. <laughs> Send him a can of spam. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, so yeah, okay, how's everything? Uh, weird. What did you do for Halloween? It's weird. We didn't trick or treat or anything. We just dressed up, and we're like, "Oh, we're dressed up. Nowhere to go." <laughs> but um, we we made like candy apples and stuff like that. Oh, that's fun. And uh, we had green eggs and spam. We put food coloring oh. in the eggs. Nice. And, do you actually uh, eat the candy apples? 
Like, have you tried to eat so it? So I've entire... never, <laughs> I've never done it. And um, did you I've, break your teeth? I have. I didn't even eat it because it's candy. I'm like, I like caramel apples. I don't like candy apples. Wait, I thought that's what it is. Wait, what? It's, oh. it's different. It's the candy is hard. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. even yeah. No, okay. but the caramel oh. ones are good. Mm. So this one's a little hard. Anyway, that's what I did. Uh, we uh, we watched holiday movies. Yeah, like a oh, Halloween yes. movie thon. So Christmas movies. <laughs> no, <laughs> we watched Little Shop of Horrors, which isn't really Halloween, but I just was in the mood. Uh, yeah. The Garfield Halloween special, uh, the Great Pumpkin Patch, the Snoopy special, the Peanut special, oh, okay. and then uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade in honor of the greatest actor of all time passing away, Sean Connery. Dishes. <laughs> I thought you were going to say River Phoenix, but... <laughs> no, oh, knock, knock. Knock, knock, Ryan. Who's there? Oh, wait. No, you have to do it. Oh, knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes the ghost of Sean Connery. Uh, oh, wow, that was wow. a joke. Oh, no, it's no. <laughs> All right. Anyway. I will take the rapist for 100, please. <laughs> Even Sean Connery, but that's all, that's all attached it's to his memory. Best. <laughs> the penis mightier. <laughs> <laughs> Anal bomb cover. <laughs> wow, you have to memorize. Dude. <laughs> Just watched it. That's why. <laughs> Those are good. It's um, funny how like that's like the lasting memory of Sean Connery, because that's like uh that's how he's been kind of like uh um been portrayed in kind of public discourse yeah. the last like 10 years is because of celebrity jeopardy on snl right, right he hasn't really like done much since so yeah i mean yeah. i i uh, my my four favorite sean connery roles are james bond um the dude from the rock henry jones uh senior and michael mcbride from darby o'gill and the little people oh my which god is Dis- which is a disney movie that, that no one knows four? <laughs> He's really hot. He's young Sean Connery. He's so hot. What about Finding Forrester? <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh, you are too bad now, dog. Now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's an early two thousand like website meme. <laughs> it's uh, what you want to call? It? He's uh, he portrays the perfect like white savior in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's every Filipino mom's uh, boyfriend, except mine, because my mom's boyfriend was Roger Moore. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> the bones. All right. The James Bones. So what are we talking about today, right? Uh Sean Canary? Sean Connery? Sean Connery? <laughs> Sean Connery? Sin Canary? <laughs> we're talking about canaries? We're, we're talking all these jokes, jokes, jokes. Yeah. Are what are we talking about? What? what? We're talking what? about jokes. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> we are jokes. jokes. <laughs> Man, I didn't even realize that we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> joke long, joke oh, long. Dude. No, because I've been thinking about this because uh, I recently became a dad. And Yay. I've been thinking Yay. about like dad jokes. <laughs> you've been, I mean, you've had a lot it. of practice. <laughs> it's you've been practicing your entire life, it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it, got to me, it got me thinking like, why are these jokes so funny to me? Right, I love corny ass humor. Right, mm-hmm. and uh-huh. um, I I don't know, like even like like the the stupid videos I watch on YouTube, like <laughs> the stupid mukbang things that yeah. me and Ryan watch. <laughs> like <laughs> the jokes are silly. Yeah, they'll yeah. just make stupid jokes, and like I fucking laugh at them. Like, for, I, they're so funny to me. Yeah. Like one time there, there's this um, there was this uh, YouTube. A YouTube channel that I watch. They're called uh, uh, Mark and Miller, and they basically cook food and they eat it, right? And then they, you know, they have different backgrounds or like they they situate themselves like outside. And then at one time they were just in a kind of really small road in Pampanga, Philippines, right? And then they and then they said, "Oh, nandito kami sa Marco Super Highway." <laughs> right so like a large like highway yeah and i'm like they're just like in some small country road but they're like making it seem like they're in a big highway and like i was just fucking laughing so hard about that. <laughs> yeah i don't know joe 
<laughs> so actually, you know, today we're really talking about like Pinoy humor. And yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. why is that so funny? And, you know, let, let's just first talk about like, what are some funny, corny jokes that you've kind of remembered? You know, maybe growing up, your dad telling you these things, or your mom, um, that are funny to you. But like, I mean, it wasn't funny, but like the one that my dad would tell and forget that he told was like that stupid uh, chicken nut bread joke that seems oh, yeah. like to be pretty <laughs> common amongst people. It's like, and I was like, I mean, I don't know if anyone can tell it better than like he can. Well, I'm sure Joe can tell it better than. How does that go, Joe? <laughs> oh, just use chicken nut bread in a sentence. Uh huh. <laughs> say, oh, that girl is drowning. Chicken nut bread. <laughs> oh yeah, that one, right? So yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's the best delivery, but compared to your dad. I mean, I mean it's also yeah. like, is is that you? Is that you? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What did the statue say to the other statue? Is that you? Statue. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of it is like those are like very um, accent heavy, but like there's there's a lot of like very pun heavy Filipino jokes. I think, right? Yeah. Well, like we were just talking about Sean Connery. Yeah. And um, for the listeners, like when we found out Sean Connery died, yeah. Ryan told us this information by texting us. <laughs> Knock, knock, knock. knock. <laughs> Who's there? I, I, by the way, I, I sent it to five different text threads. This shows you how many times I've told this joke <laughs> to a lot of different friend groups. <laughs> My nephew hates it because I always tell him, knock, knock, who's there? Dishes. And he just looks at me. He doesn't know who Sean Connery is. So. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I think part of it is like, um, uh, you know, the accent's pretty easy, right? Like accent jokes. And I, I don't think that's necessarily like a Filipino thing. But um, a lot of like, uh, you know, tadbalik uh, jokes, like backwards jokes. Yeah. You guys know yeah. what I'm talking about? Mm. So yeah. a very like famous, uh, this one is my mom. My mom tells us all the time. Um, but it's situational. The situation is like, there's a guy uh, checking in his bags in, um, in, in the airport. So he was asked, check in? And he goes, no, no, it be. And so it takes a little bit, right? It takes a little bit. And my mom tells it all the time. And the thing is, like, we get it, right? Because she's been telling us all our lies. But, like, she tells it to, like, new people. And they're like, what? <laughs> and you have to take a little bit. If you didn't get the joke. So in, in, in Tagalog, there's a, you know, part of conversations and just the vernacular. Sometimes you... You switch words around you uh, to make it uh, baliktad or backwards or tad balik, right? And so the joke is that you know when they ask if the guy was checking in, he, he interpreted it as being in check, check in. No, no ip, no, I'm pinoy, right? So that's that's the kind of humor that my mom that I grew up with. <laughs> and so <laughs> there's a lot of jokes like that that she loves and that, that she would she would tell us when we were kids, and I still tell it till today, like that one. <laughs> There, it's so silly. There's this one that my friend's uncle told me, and I think he got it from someone else. But uh, there's is, is another Tad Balik joke. Yeah, it was like, um, you know, who's the first president of the Philippines or of of, uh, of America? And then it's supposed to be Washington, right? Right. So um, who's the first president of China? Don oh. Xinhua. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's so stupid, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but like I love it. It's so funny. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> and, and you know, those are like, you know, those are like play on words. But like, right. you know, my dad would like come up with some stupid things that I would think it's funny and it's just like situational. So yeah. for example, when I was a kid, um, uh, my brother and sister went to UC Irvine and we would drive them. Right to when they came up from the weekend, we would drive them or we'd pick them up. Right. And it's about like an hour and a half, maybe two hours yeah. in traffic. Right. Um, this was the time when my brother discovered Bob Marley. Okay. Oh, and God. so he would play it in the car. Okay. And we would like my dad like started loving it. And we would play it all the time. We'd go back and oh forth God. to Irvine and we'd play like Bob Marley all the time, right? And then my dad, like by the end of the trip, he goes, Oh. Bob Marley, his voice is tired. <laughs> he must <What>? be tired. Because <laughs> he's he sang the, the whole time. way. <laughs> yeah. 
it's 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 silly dad jokes like that that get yeah. me too. Yeah. <laughs> or like uh what's up? Like, this is my friend's dad. And he would walk, you know, he would walk around in sunglasses and he would come inside the house mm-hmm. and he would just say, Why is it so dark in here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still use that. <laughs> or or okay. Ryan, I will yes, never get I, over this joke. Uh-oh, when we one? when we went to San Francisco and we had lunch at Harris Ranch, oh yeah, and we were oh. we were settling the bill. We we're settling the bill, and what did you say to us, Ryan? Well, it was expensive. I didn't know who ordered the tax. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another that's another joke that I say that all the time, and, and so I just said it kind of like. <laughs> Like randomly because I always tell the same jokes over and over again. Joe, Joe and Elaine just started rolling on the floor like, "What the heck?" It's so good. <laughs> so yeah, but I probably tax. got that from my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh man, but yeah. I wonder though if if, if we love it because we're Filipino and we love puns. Like, well, do mean, other people get <laughs> as giddy well, no, no, as those, I do? Those aren't puns, right? Yeah, yeah. Those are those are like those are like just very like silliness, right? Like silly. Yeah, yeah. Because so, oh, they're kind of like the, uh, Google are our puns. They're kind of like fish out of water jokes, right? Like yeah. as if you didn't understand yeah. that tax is what uh, you get charged on the bill versus right. like obviously we know what tax is, but like it's right. like pretending okay. like you don't understand the concept. Uh, I have an example of this joke now. It's it's coming to me. So when I was a kid, my dad was a computer engineer, a software, a computer programmer for Sunkist, um, Sunkist Oranges, yeah. right? And so you know, like Sunkist Oranges, when you would get them, they would have a little sticker on the orange, like each individual yeah. orange. And his boss was like, "Yeah, so we're gonna diversify and um, we're gonna go into grapes." And then my dad once said, oh, no, I feel bad for the workers. And his boss is like, why? And he's like, because who's going to put all the stickers on each individual? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I just, I, I remember oh, my good. dad being so proud of that right. joke. And so I was, good. I cracked up, but I was like, did, did your boss understand what you were saying? <laughs> but that's a good one. I like that. I like that. <laughs> There's another one where, like, my uh, my friend's dad, he would say, <laughs> he said this randomly. Like, there was, um, we we're at the airport, and then some guy was uh, speaking in a British accent on the on the on the on the microphone, right, on the speaker, mm-hmm. and it's a British accent, and he goes, "Man, that guy sounds like he needs braces." <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> no, I don't get it. <laughs> he needs braces because you know British people like have crooked teeth. Oh. <laughs> I get it now. Oh man, the Brits are gonna come after us. I know. Right. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, royal family. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Meghan Markle. Uh, <laughs> Immaculate High School. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we were talking about Pinoy humor, and like yeah. it's like so, like it's very distinct. I right? agree. I don't think yeah. other people laugh as hard as like we would, and I'm trying to understand like I don't know where it comes from and and do, all that stuff. Do you think? Well, so so well grow, growing up, like what do you remember as as aside from you, like your parents and aside from your family? Where else would you get Pinoy humor from if you grew up in the states? Like what what would be Pinoy TV humor? Like like for example, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of those variety shows. And yeah. it would just be kind of like a lot of like jokes in between, kind of like different acts and things like that. Mm-hmm. Right. And then my parents would also rent a lot of like Dolphy movies. Yeah. And just like we watch yeah. a lot of those. And a lot of that kind of humor is very much like on the nose, very much like almost kind of like uh, stage humor. You know, yeah. it's almost kind of like, like vaudeville. Vaud- vaudevillian, right? Like it's very mm-hmm. like, you know, people playing out kind of out of each other and like someone playing kind of like a dummy character and kind of just like misunderstandings being the source of the humor or right. just like, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. And I don't I think, used to watch. Oh, good. I was gonna oh, say yeah. I don't. I don't think that. Um, that uh, I I knew of any kind of like Filipino stand-up humor. Like I usually would see it from a from a variety show or like a sketch comedy show. Um, 
a very slapstick like movie slap like kind of like slapstick humor um uh, uh, in the movies um and that's that's how i knew like you mike i would watch like a bunch of tito vic and joey's and like dolphy um movies mm-hmm. and you know it's it's just it's just like a almost like a three stooges with tito vic and joey right like they had that kind of like cadence to their jokes and the humor um but yeah what were you gonna say joe well i was gonna say like um yeah it is like three stooges but it's not like physical comedy like right, they, right. i think yeah. they attempt i think they attempt physical comedy a lot of you know dolphy and all that stuff but like i don't for me at least it, it wasn't very funny right? right the physical comedy things it was more the um like the the the, dad the, the conversations yeah the conversations that they have the dad jokes sometimes they would do like translations if yeah you've seen those yeah yeah um so I don't know that 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 kind of stuff is is funny to me. I, maybe it comes from like my family and like a famili- familiarity, mm-hmm. but like I don't know. I still think it's it's fucking <laughs> hilarious to me. Yeah, and like it, it's uh, like I want to know. I want to know if it, it, it is. Does it get classified as lowbrow humor? Right, like mm-hmm. humor for the masses. Well, or is it? Compared to like highbrow, right? Where you have to think about things and you have to like, like compared to Seinfeld, right? Like I never watched Seinfeld. Or the Brits. <laughs> or the Brits or British humor, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like I, I, I mean, Monty, Monty Python is kind of funny to me. Yeah. But it's not like know. my favorite, right? Right. right. Well, I mean, just like uh, unscientifically, I mean, at least a lot of the Filipino humor that I'm familiar with, I mean, it all feels like it's very much about the comedy of like the interaction with somebody else. Yeah. Like when mm-hmm. someone's talking to you and you hear something different or you understand it differently versus mm-hmm. like, I think a lot of contemporary, like say like American comedy, for example, is very much like situational and like kind of like a, an examination of kind of like people as like almost like an anthropological like study. Right. You yeah. Know? Whereas like, yeah, a lot of, at least the humor that I remember growing up from like the Philippines and even like early Filipino American, like comedians that I became over like Rex Navarrete or something was yeah. very much kind of just jokes about like people, how they interacted with each other. You know, and like the the humor that kind of comes out of those interactions. Like Rex, when I think feel like comedy and jokes, like Rex's man, like I remember listening to his comedy albums in in college uh, five years ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's all these time five, gaps. There's five, all these time <laughs> gaps there. <laughs> And like we we memorized that shit like yeah, oh my yeah, god totally. S- SBC Packers yeah yeah when you were like, asking like the the jokes I remember like the one that I actually remembered was like you know BHS yeah <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> and that whole like skit but it was just like you know yeah. that's just like another, again a play of like accents and words but yeah 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 but yeah. I think he also goes a little deeper too like he does he does he yeah. does he does do a little bit more situational he does have commentary on like. Mm-hmm. Filipino American like life, yeah, which I, I yeah. really appreciate him for doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean that's a it's very much an American style comedy. Yeah, he was he was the first one that I knew that was at least like mainstream for me. Like that, I said, oh, this Filipino guy's doing stand up comedy, yeah. and it was so refreshing just to to be able to do that. And to be honest with you, like I've seen like uh, Filipinos in the Philippines. And this was maybe maybe mid nineties. Um, try to do stand up comedy on stage, and it just didn't work because their their setups were a little bit differently. Um, uh, done differently. They were done more on like a like a question callback form, and it just didn't flow correctly. Like as a stand up. Mm. Um, and uh, I think for me, like like the humor that I grew up with is just a lot of repetitive, uh, balik jokes. Yeah, mm. you know, like it, everything is re- repeated like over and over again that it becomes part of like sort of the part of the vernacular like if you got a new haircut you know like they would say oh gagong gupit right yeah you know mm. like stuff like that and it's 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 just one of those things that just be- becomes uh you know uh part of the 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 comedy flow that's sometimes funny sometimes insulting right so my mom would say those kinds of jokes. It goes, oh gagong gupit you know she would say that or she would say something like oh sino sino gupit sayo sino so, you, know, natin you know, like stuff like that. Like, who do yeah. we beat up for giving you a bad haircut? You know, it's like stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a translation. But, um, <laughs> but you know, in terms of in terms of like the you know the familiarness of it is is very like very much family 
like to like kind hmm. of like you joe like a lot of it is like what family would do like ribbing each other those are the kinds of jokes that that i grew up grew up with and then yeah. on television it would be a lot of like you know sketch comedy tito vic and joey kind of kind of humor i don't know if people like can kind of get that yeah yeah and yeah. i don't know if people kind of understand that who's listening to us but i don't know how to compare it i mean it's like what well, joe mentioned like monty hall i mean Mon- monty, python? monty python sorry monty, hall, monty, monty python <laughs> but like as a kid like i remember um i remember watching uh um uh benny hill yeah okay yeah i never understood benny hill (laughs) i just remember the chasing scenes and then yeah yeah you know like girls in bikinis right yeah (laughs) but now that i say that there's a lot of filipino sketch com comedy um things that look like that where there's like a a lot of like, like the the chasing scenes at the end for example there's um you know, a lot of sketch comedy that's that's sort of uh, Benny Hill type. Yeah, of humor. like B- Bubble yeah. Gang. Yeah, exactly. Have you heard of bub- Bubble Gang? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, they call it gag shows, mm-hmm. which is basically like, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, the, the format is very much like skits and like a lot of the, it's like mini skits as well. Like mm-hmm. it would just be like a skit of like one. Yeah, like um, one joke. Uh, one joke. Right. And then they go off to the next skit. It's the right. same setting, the same like, oh, they're in a barbershop today. Right. And then it would be like five straight like barbershop jokes, uh, uh, bar- barbershop skits that right. just contains one joke each. Right. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, Bubble Gang, I think the first one I saw was like Mixed Nuts. Yeah, right? mix, Mixed Nuts was a, an offshoot of um, Going Bananas, I think. Okay. Mixed Nuts was like in the 90s and we I actually used to watch it on like local TV yeah, here in yeah, LA. Yeah. yeah. That's that sounds familiar. Them. Yeah. Mix, I feel like I caught mixed nuts occasionally. Yeah. That yeah. sounds dirty. Jesus. <laughs> 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 oh. oh man. But um, you know, like the early comedy that I knew was like going bananas, um, with like Tito Vic and Joey and like Spanky and you know all all those all those folks who who were a part of VST, I think, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Gary Leasing is a very well known comedian in the Philippines who wrote like joke books. A lot of it is also like very situational, but oh, yeah. um, he's 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 a you know he's a really good um, joke writer, you know. But but yeah, we still I still reference some <laughs> some old situational Filipino jokes back then, but. And it's yeah. really funny because, like, like Joseph Estrada, he was the former president of the Philippines. Yeah, he had his own joke book. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my God! Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it'd just be like really bad, like Filipino jokes. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> like, what's the, like, what's the difference between or uh, what's the difference between a uh, potato and mash mashed potato? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, potato, mashed potato. <laughs> Uh, he pointed. Oh he pointed to. <laughs> oh my god! Or or when they uh, asked um Arab, uh, what's your favorite color, sir? Uh, fuchsia. Uh, please spell that for us, sir. Uh, red na lang red. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But there's or, um uh, yeah. The, what was the other joke? Uh, use like um this guy was trying to explain his last name to somebody. Says, oh, what's your what's your last name, sir? So, oh, my last name is uh, Ibankel. Says, Ibankel, uh, can you can you spell that, please? Okay, E as in Ibon, B as in very good, uh, A as in A okay. Uh, what's that? Uh, N as in pneumonia, Q as in Cuba, U as in Europe, E as in Ibon again, and L as in elephant. <laughs> Oh my God. Right? That shit's fucking funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. You telling us that shit's fucking funny. That's hilarious. And then the other guy goes like, uh, oh, my name is uh, Mr. DeSoto. Oh, can you spell DeSoto, sir? Says, oh, yeah, I can spell DeSoto. D as in DeSoto. E as in Isoto. S as in Soto. O as in Otto. Yes, it <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! It's so stupid. 
stupid. It's so oh, stupid, but still right. makes me laugh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh. but it's just I don't know. Does that mean that like Filipinos are just lowbrow? I don't People? think so. I just think it's I, I, it's just some yeah. things that we find funny. I think I think a lot of it is just like, you know, finding humor is just you know what we find comfort comfort in, right? And mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be like. I don't think it has, it has to, to be, be all existential yeah. and like Nanette, like Hannah Gadsby and shit like that. But you know, those are also good. Long form storytelling is good. Yeah. It has fu- it has this good humor. Like you can have your your Bert Kreischer, like the machine taking his shirt off every set and going crazy. Or you can always have your Dave Chappelle's or your Bobby Lee's. You know, like yeah. there's there's room for it all. Yeah, um, and there's true. you know who ordered think, tax. Yeah, I think a lot of, <laughs> I think a lot of it is just it's it's like quick, right? It it doesn't it's not, you know, you kind of alluded to like the quick jokes done in um in in skit form, but a lot of Filipino jokes I think are aren't setups. They're just quick. They're like riddles yeah. or they're puns. They're reactions. They're reactions, and it's just it's just um, uh, you know. Uh, I think I think the humor there is is uh, it's I don't think it gets lost on on people at all. It's just we do it in in a in a quick quick way. A lot of the the quickness of our humor right now that a lot of people will, will kind of get or or understand is the accent ones because oh that's that's funny yeah. and it's it 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 transcends kind of like Filipino ness right. But yeah. no one's gonna get check in noi p if you're not really Filipino. Yeah. No, no one gets that. You know, it, it's that's that's the kind of, that's that's very that's very Filipino. Like that's very nuanced to like to to Filipinos. No, you know? but there's certain humor out there mm-hmm. that like I think most Filipinos won't find that funny. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just like well, it's the kind of comedy but, like, that like there's like the pop culture kind of comedy that you'll see on your usual sketch show slash TV show slash whatever and like you know YouTube. Um, but I mean, yeah, I think there are different layers of comedy that won't necessarily rise to that level in the same way as it kind of yeah, has in America. Cause like Mike and I like, like people, like, do you guys know the comedian Eric Andre? Yeah. 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 Like his, his whole shtick is like uncomfortable. Like crazy sketches. humor, right? Like crazy humor. Right. And they're that's not like not, jokes. They're yeah. not jokes. It's just uncomfortable uncom- scenarios. Yeah. And like, I love that shit. I love watching people be uncomfortable in reaction to him. Mm -hmm. But I also love like, like what you interpret as like lowbrow Benny Hill type, like comedy too, like slapstick. Cause it's funny. Like I I laugh my ass off at those jackass movies. Like, yeah, like they're so, Oh yeah. Um, I think the biggest surprise of my life was like my parents being super into jackass as well. <laughs> really? Like I was just like at home, <laughs> like one really random did. night, like from college, I guess maybe. And I was just like, I put it on and I was like, oh, they're going to be like complaining about like how crass this is. And my mom just started busting up. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God, this is the kind of humor that they like is like yeah. this very like quick and like dirty, like, you know, here's the setup and here's the joke and that's it. Like, you know, it's like yeah. set up to, to pay off and nothing yeah. like complicated about that in between like guy gets the cart, guy crashes the cart, you know? Yeah. Those kind of things. It's like it, it didn't require her to like make any kind of like mental gymnastics to get like why is that funny? Like to her, it was immediately funny. And I think right. that like a lot of Filipino humor is structured that way because you know it's, it's easier to kind of like just grasp in the moment, right? But, but that's but, not to but, say but, there's but, other kinds of comedies that doesn't exist. It's just it doesn't rise to the same level. I think maybe culturally, but I think there. I don't know for some reason like my parents and like I think about other my friend's parents like they don't get jackass or like they're I don't get they're it. like kind of appalled at it they're like oh my gosh look this <laughs> <laughs> <They're all stupid. laughs> yeah right um, nonsense <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like for like dozens or something right which mm. is very popular uh in african american like uh communities right yeah mm-hmm. i think filipino like immigrants right like they won't find that as funny yeah right they don't yeah. they won't get maybe the cultural references or like they might understand it, but it's like, oh, what's so funny about that? Like, but there's like a distinct Filipino humor that like I don't know, kind of just resonates. Well, I think it's I'm, also wondering, like, I'm wondering if Filipino humor can be more varied, you know? 
Well, I think about like, you know, when my dad and my uncles interact with each other and the way that they interact is very much also in kind of like these short like bites. Like they'll have conversations about like life and stuff, but like they'll be playing like mahjong or whatever, gambling and playing cards. And, you know, every now and then that silence is broken by some one liner from some uncle that is just like hilarious. But it's like he didn't take a lot of time to like set it up or break it down. He kind of just said this quip. And then everyone's yeah. just like busting up for like a couple minutes, you know, and it's just kind of right. like in the middle of you doing all these other things. Like I imagine like, you know, like, like a lot, like my dad getting that chicken nut bread joke. Like he didn't make that up. Obviously it's the one that other people must know, but he got it from some other guy in the military when he was in the military. And someone just yeah. kind of like yeah. threw it off to him randomly in the middle of work. It's almost like, like it's easily, a- easy to spread com- comedy. It's a lot to like cut, cut the tension or like cut, like, cut like the silence or like just an uncomfortable situation like or I, the cheese or the cheese <laughs> cut, cut the cheese <laughs> well like i still remember going to um my friends uh to my friend jen's lola's funeral um and like i was like greeting her mom auntie, auntie betty and i was just like she was thanking me for coming and you know i didn't really need to be there and i was like joking with her and she was like cracking up and i said to her i put the fun in funeral like oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i told that joke before but it's like it's so filipino that i would just say something that yeah. dumb right like it we're at like lolly's funeral and i'm like saying a joke like that and like I, she totally got it. Like Auntie Betty just laughed me off. And just was just like, "Oh, Elaine, you're so simple." <laughs> <laughs> no, I Yo. mean there, there there's some like f- like uh like theorists about like what makes a joke a joke or what, make, what makes people laugh. What is humor? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like Freud talks about humor as like it breaks social conventions. There's also like I think someone talks about like how humor also is a relief from everyday life, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Or like a relief from social conventions or the normal. The mundane. The mundane, yeah. Uh, mundaneness. Yeah. Of, mundaneness, uh, is that a lot? Well, uh, sure. Well, sure. <laughs> I was going to say, take it. I was, <laughs> was going to say mundanity. No. <laughs> I, I was going to say it too. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, but the other thing though is like, and we've touched on it like a little bit, but like how, I don't, I, I've never really paid attention to this, but like how much like between Filipino American and Filipino is there crossover? Like Rex Navarrete, mm-hmm. like, did he go on tour in the Philippines? I don't I don't remember. But if he did, like, did that sell? Joe Coy has been doing that too. Like, does that carry mm-hmm. over in the same way? Cause a lot of it's very like it feels very like Phil Am formed as opposed to like Filipino like for informed, right? Yeah. So, like, does that mm-hmm. does that still cross over? Like I haven't really, you know. So it crosses over, um, especially for it's kind of weird because like he, a lot of their audiences when they go to the Philippines, they're more middle class to rich, right? Mm. So they speak English. They understand like kind of the English language and the nuances of like Filipino or Taglish. Mm-hmm. So, so it's kind of like I don't. I wouldn't say go as far as saying that like it helps them separate themselves from lower class Filipinos who can't speak the language, right? Mm-hmm. But um, they they they, def- they definitely have a certain type of audience in the Philippines mm-hmm. uh, when they go there, and it's um yeah, it is formed by Philam but it's definitely like a certain class of filipinos who find it funny there yeah yeah and then you think about like all the youtube stars too like there was happy slip right i don't know if happy slip's still doing that yeah like um and the person does like those tita videos who's that again yeah yeah i mean those are like i feel like those show up on my feed all the time but is it like as popular in the philippines as they are amongst philams for example you know well i know what's his name mikey bustos is popular in the philippines yeah Oh, okay. Well, there's also like the Filipino vids, like Instagram account, where like <laughs> Mikey Bustos, stop it, right? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Sorry, Elaine, keep going. No, no, no. <laughs> no, now you gotta say something. <laughs> now you gotta say something. Dude, didn't like go back to like when we first started the podcast didn't we talk shit about mikey bustos <laughs> yeah, yeah like, how his <laughs> accent sucks i'm like dude your accent's horrible <laughs> but like people people love it people love it but i'm like dude do better <laughs> <laughs> yeah so hate mail from the mikey bustos like stands <laughs> <laughs> no don't don't give us hate we're, we were acknowledging like his humor but like we were talking more specifically about his accent mm. um how we're like, hey, let's, uh, you know. Anyway, sorry, Elaine. What were you? Saying? <laughs> yeah, what were you saying, Elaine? Uh, 
It's gone. It's gone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I have a quick question though. Yeah. Is yeah. is do you think uh, like uh, I'm gonna focus a little bit on stand up comedy? Do you think is stand up comedy an American thing? I actually don't know. Is that is stand up so, comedy an American thing? Do we know? According this? to my quick. Um, internet research I've done uh, <laughs> before the episode according, started. <laughs> according to History of the World Part One by Mel Brooks, he was a comedian in the Roman era times. And when he went to the unemployment office, <laughs> B. Arthur said, "You're what's your job? Comedian." Bullshit. <laughs> so, oh my god, that's such a throwback. I haven't, I haven't, I, I haven't thought I about mean, that movie in so long. My comedy is basically Mel Brooks. All day, every day, because I watch Spaceballs like one summer with Sean Charles <laughs> and Vincent every day for one oh, summer. Man. I can do that whole movie back and forth, line for line. Yeah. My kids watch me. It's embarrassing. Wait, so Joe, what did your research say? Yeah. Your uh, oh, no, Googling that you just did right now? <laughs> <laughs> According to the great scholar, Wikipedia. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Wikipedia. Um, <laughs> It started in Great Britain in Damn, early 20th century. Kind of the format of yeah. like person going up on stage and just telling stories. Like an order. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ooh, vaudeville type. Yeah, that's yeah. different from vaudeville where it's like oh. more of a, sh- uh, not show, but like it's more of a, um, you know, like a back yeah. and forth with, with other people. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, so supposedly that's when it started. Yeah. So I do have I do want to throw this out there just for for folks to think about and um, just because I wanted to say this and I don't I don't do any research or whatever but I think humor humor the one uh, uh, when we talk about jokes and humor and based on our conversation today and what kind of jokes people get and what kind of jokes people don't get highbrow lowbrow and everything I think it has a lot to do with where you get the jokes from and what what you have access to and now that jokes are more accessible through um, YouTube's, for example, I think we as Filipino Americans are finding like universally funny shit online mm-hmm. yeah. uh, th- from the Philippines that we would never th- have thought it would would be funny. But like yeah. humor in general doesn't have like borders, doesn't have like it has cultural significance to it. But there's a type of joke in our culture that I'm yeah. sure is similar to other people's culture. And we're, we're slowly um, finding out how kind of unified people are when it comes to funny shit and i think i think you you know what i'm saying so the reason i started bringing up my parents in the beginning is because most of my jokes come from my parents the way i repeat jokes all the time is because that's what my mom does she tells the same joke over and over again (laughs) and we still laugh over and over again we watch movies and we tell those jokes because they're hilarious Mm -hmm. but our access to the jokes were always the same things like filipino dolphy movies Tito Vic and Joey they had a monopoly on like afternoon television and nighttime when you had like Eat Bulaga and then you had like um, you know uh, what do you call this Mixed Nuts or uh, or uh, Going Bananas you know stuff like that but now that you know even for stand-up comedy right I'm I'm almost certain there's going to be more and more Filipinos that are going to do stand-up comedy because it's an accessible way it's a way to do it here in the States but I also think that that's also gonna gonna translate a little bit better. Yeah, if you think about the kind of jokes that you can tell somebody else without having to like explain a whole lot, are kind of like those short, like either one liners right. or you know right. whatever. And like, and so like in the pre-internet era, for everybody, uh, like if you're gonna pass a joke along to somebody else, you know, it, it'd be harder to like repeat somebody's entire stand-up routine, but you could tell right, a right. one-liner that probably has like, mm-hmm. a quick payoff. And so yeah, like with YouTube and everything else now, like and now that people can kind of share more long-form kind of comedy, mm-hmm. yeah, it'll be interesting to see like how that you know, affects the way that Filipino comedy, at least at the popular kind of level, like, you know, right. shifts and changes. Mm. And, and uh, going towards the other way too, like edginess, right? Things that were uh, like, if we've, if you found uh, different, I think our humor sort of evolves the, the older we get. Um, I think, for example, you gave the, the Seinfeld um, sort of example earlier. I, I think that if you're a kid watching Seinfeld, you probably don't wouldn't like it. A lot of the a lot of the humor is very conversational. 
um it was you know it was older you have to, you have to learn you have to know like what they're talking about right right you have yeah. to learn that you know right like the and pop so, culture cues that they were using exactly but but it's also during the time dude that show was going to get canceled in the early stages of it yeah, yeah. you know and NBC because a lot of people are like what is this what is this show about that was yeah. all the the thing about that show is like what is this about and nobody yeah, was famously really dubbed like the show about nothing Exactly. You know, even exactly. though like if you really watch it, especially as an adult, you know it's all about it's all about all kinds of yeah. things. Yeah. But that's very much like it took a like left it went left from like the sitcoms or comedies that were before. Like mm -hmm. I love like Golden Girls, like the joke right. setup of Golden Girls is yeah. freaking amazing. <laughs> and yes. and, yeah. and they snap at each other and it's just so smart and it is reactionary and it's mm -hmm. just like I just love I feel like watching that as a kid really like informed how I got my humor. Right. But it's because I grew up here, right? I grew right. up in the, in the states, so right. yeah. And which goes to show, like if you if you grew up in in the Philippines, I don't know what you had access to in terms of yeah. your comedy. So I imagine you'd have more access to Filipino comedy, and so there's, you know, that's what you had. Um, there is also yeah. th there's also kind of a historical correlation to why vaudeville kind of humor and stage humor was kind of what we picked up right i imagine some of that had to do with like what is it the laugh-in you know when yeah uh, like, well, it was like old... carl reiner and mel brooks because they were from vaudeville and then they yeah. had the dick van dyke show yeah. and then it just turned into mary tyler moore right, right. and yeah. then like you know and those things all transitioned like they all that feeds into golden girls and, yeah. and like all the well, writers was any of that available in the philippines i guess is the point that ryan's trying to make right like i yeah. think like what was available in the philippines was very much like whatever was imported you know right. through either yeah. like whatever like was brought over either by Phil Ams or what was available to Filipino media at the time through TV or radio. And a lot of it's going to be very much based in kind of like that vaudeville kind of tradition. Like the yeah. humor that's in like a, a like an Elvis movie or something, you know, like there that's it's very much like short form yeah. joke, right? Yeah. Like the jokes are the jokes are right before he's going to sing a song, you know, something, right. something like that, you know. Right. <laughs> and but I wonder, feel, like, yeah. it, you know, that as as humor evolves, mm -hmm. like, is it going to be uh, are there going to be more class divisions, right? Or like, is there going to be like a highbrow Filipino humor and a lowbrow Filipino humor? Or like, I, I don't know. I, I maybe that's unfair categorization, yeah. but you know, there's certain like Seinfeld. There's a certain, um, uh, I guess, maybe social capital that you have to understand to get that, or yeah. you have to be a certain class, or yeah, come, uh, be part of certain scary. circles. It's like not necessarily highbrow, but it's like alt comedy versus mainstream mm -hmm. comedy. It's also like the rooms that you would go like mm -hmm. the like there are different divisions. It's like, you know, like um like Joe Rogan is a different type of comedian right. than like Eliza Skinner, you know, or something like that, you know, or like J.R. de Guzman is different. He does the all the the songs and he plays his guitar. Like that's mm -hmm. different compared to Joe Coy. Right. Which um so like I feel like it's not a matter of high or low. It's just maybe a matter of like just style. Right. And I I don't I didn't mean to say that the the evolution of jokes it keeps going into like more highbrow and and therefore the lowbrow will be more separated kind of thing. Um, I, I guess what I meant to say is like our, our humor will evolve because we're going to have more access to different kinds of jokes mm -hmm. internationally. And I think, we're, you know, the, the diversity of our jokes, we get to choose better what we think is funny because there's so much comedy out there in different forms that, you know, we'll never find Seinfeld funny, for example. Some people won't. Yeah. Or we'll never find Jackass funny. You know, mm. like stuff like that, because there's enough other comedies out there that, you know what, other other people who are not Filipino may find Filipino humor hilarious, especially when it's like people falling and there's like a laugh track in the background going, hey, <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that laugh track. No, no. Everybody is. <laughs> oh, how does it? Oh, yeah. What was it? Um, how did it go again? I forgot now, dude. Like, no, who look? The, the people that always look, 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 look,
Like I think the last time I laughed at a Filipino comedian was might have been Rex Navarrete. Actually, it maybe that's just me being fun. old. Oh, Michael, you can't I really like expose fun. myself to it either. So I think that's part of it. Is like it's you not. I know out. that it's out there, but, but like, did. <laughs> what about Mikey oh, Bustos, man. dude? <laughs> No. Oh, I mean, Mike. Sure. Start talking shit, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Go out there. No, but I, I, I do agree, Mike. I don't find a lot of it funny. Oh, I think a lot shit, of it, it's guys. just, it's just plainly accent. And I'm like, come on, man. There's something deeper. Yeah, we've got to go we've, deeper. We've than done that accents. already. That's like well tread yeah. kind of like material, and you know, maybe I, kinda, I need to find something that's kind of moving the art forward for Filipinos and Filipino Americans. <laughs> and it's not even like. Like uh, what's it? Double entendre? Yeah, yeah. It's not even like that. Like, there's no like double meanings with like you know Packer and fucker, right? Yeah. It's just kind of like they're just doing an accent, and it's like oh, 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 oh they're doing a Filipino accent, blah blah, blah. Yeah. right? Like it's like the lumpia of comedy. It's like ah, oh, yeah. it's a lumpia. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love lumpia. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I'm not talking shit about comedians. <laughs> Dude, the, title, spicy. the title of this episode is going to be We're talking shit about comedians <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah A lot of those aren't like I don't know, man I think It's not funny it's not, Rex it's is not ahead funny. of his Not ahead of his time But like no, you but know, Rex is right. doing that before And he was freaking smart about it, right? Yeah Yeah. yeah. Um, so what we're saying is Rex Navarrete If you want to be on this Filipino American <laughs> life You have an <laughs> open invitation <laughs> We actually never invited him But he has his own podcast now but we're saying, come on by. Yeah. This is your open invitation. We love you. And we promise we won't tell Seriously. your jokes to you. Cause... I do like Joey Gila. Um, he's funny, I think. I, uh, I, I but like but also, also, um, what was I going to say? Uh, like, like I, I'm, I'm hoping for someone like a Filipino John Liguizamo who did like the history. Of oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Something like that for like Filipino, Filipino Americans. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Right. We should do it. Let's do it. But, but write do you, show. let's write it. But do you kind of get what I'm saying about like our access to comedy, right? In, yeah. In the the way I'm I'm looking at it is like, I I am certain, like in time, there's going to be those styles of of comedy coming from from yeah. films, and I'm looking forward to it. But you're absolutely right. I think I want someone edgy. You know, yeah. I want someone edgy who who's gonna. I'm with Elaine and like the uncomfortable stuff. I like a comfortable yeah. humor. I like it when when people are really smart about it. You know, I love I love humor like that. That makes you kind of think about why am I on this side of this this humor? Why didn't I not find this funny? And then you think about it some more and and stuff like that. So, I'm, like I'm waiting for my those favorite kinds of jokes. comedian is not my favorite comedian, but one of my all time favorites is Mitch Hedberg. And like, if there was a Filipino Mitch Hedberg who was just like so talented on writing those one liners mm -hmm. of uh, uh, like of jokes, like that structure. I will be your champion and like and then I mean I've, Dude. I've been saying it JR to Guzman like five I'm million times but uh, he's yeah hilarious. I like JR I like he's I like JR stuff yeah and it's cool like he has a guitar open invitation come to T-Fal sing us a song yeah <laughs> so if anybody listening up. knows who those comedians are maybe we just need to like get exposed to that and kind of know yeah. about it or um, like because, before I mean, you know, pandemic old, so. Before yeah. pandemic, only graduated college like five years ago. So, five years ago. Now. <laughs> Before the pandemic, CJ Tolentino was hosting that comedy night at Cucina, uh, whatever, whatever in uh, Cucina Filipina. E yeah, in, in Eagle Rock. I mean, maybe he's really funny, and we just don't know. CJ yeah. Tolentino, open invitation, come to the podcast. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> and if your if your punchline is just lumpia, like. No, <laughs> no. It's like remember when we all ate lumpia. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Joe Coyne. <laughs> oh, oh! Well, I'm gonna get so much hate. I might have to Sean cut that inspired. out. Actually. Mike, Sean inspired. Look, I think Mike. I think Mike punched it. Uh, punched Joe, it. Uh, 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 <laughs> Mr. Coy. Terrible. Uh, Mr. Coy. Mr. No, I do think. Um, I, I do. I do. Um know that joe koi is actually good like live and he makes fun of audience members like he i've been, does that I've been kind of he crowd oh, yeah i've heard really good things about joe and koi. i heard it's I really think, good like, yeah. yeah i think like when he does these specials in the philippines like he feels like he has to kind of cater to like that kind of audience or certain expectations of what filipino yeah. humor is supposed to be but yeah i've heard really great things about his show so. because crowd work doesn't translate yeah. to a special it translates yeah, to being in the room yeah. watching somebody tear it up and i know that joe koi can do that we've seen it 
So like the special, like the, what you see in a special is always going to be like what can get packaged for TV. Yeah. Well done, well done, guys. Well done. We brought it back. We brought so, it back. Brought Mr. Koi, <laughs> come to our show. <laughs> Joe Koi, you have uh, an open invitation to the podcast. <laughs> so we should wrap up. Um, but do you have any last uh, jokes? Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Because I do. All Go right, all right. It's Joe's I, I, comedy I, I, special. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if this is this is not like a this is not like a setup joke, but it's just kind of like something that um, it's funny to me. But when I first like visited Gurley's family for the first time, uh, when I you know we were first dating, uh, we went to her house and they had like a family party, and then him and his uh, or me and like Gurley's cousin started playing poker right on the table, and then. Gurley's uncle would always come in and he he's either drunk or something, but like he always came in. This has happened like maybe three or four times. And he would yell out, one of you has a pipe of a kind. <laughs> he would go out again and come back. He goes, oh, who has the pipe of a kind? <laughs> All right. I don't know. That's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you think it's hilarious. <laughs> It's funny. No, it's funny. And because he did it more than once. <laughs> I like that kind of humor. Comedy comes in threes. <laughs> Do it one more time, Joe. <laughs> Any of you? Uh, how, many, how, many? how many? How many? Pipe of Oh, man. Uh, I don't have any. I I don't have any that I haven't already shared on this podcast. <laughs> that I can think uh, yeah. of the top of my head. <laughs> oh, man. I, Do you have any? I can't think of it. No. <laughs> Lupia. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. all right. All right, guys. Well, this was fun. Yeah. yeah for- Especially with the world ending. It's nice to like laugh about something. <laughs> yeah. And- <laughs> yeah. Especially with the world ending. Mike taking cheap shots at Mikey Bustos. What? That wasn't <laughs> me. That was Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Mike, Mike took no, a he- shot at somebody else. <laughs> I No. No. Joke, 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 lang. Joke, 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 um, but if you do have any funny Filipino related examples of, uh, or sorry, uh, examples of funny Filipino humor, please uh, send us a voicemail at yes. What's the number, Ryan? Oh, God, COVID. I don't know, dude. 805 394 TFAL. Is that right? Yes. Good oh, job. Yeah. Yes. Good job. Ryan. My COVID memory, dude. Sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Leave us a voicemail there or, um, yeah. That'd yeah. Tell us jokes. Tell us a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah we'll I think we all, we all need that right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should have yeah, like we a like full, that. like, voicemail comedy show. In fact, yeah. Oh, everyone seriously. call me the jokes and, and maybe if we have enough material, we'll just like put one long. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what comes in. Wow. Wow. And okay. I, I actually want to say this to Joe, but, um, you've been prepping to, for being a like telling all these dad jokes um through the duration of your life and pretty much through this podcast i just want to say congratulations on telling legit dad jokes now yeah <laughs> now, now, the, the now you have our permission yes <laughs> you're, a, you're a dad now the jokes are are you know good now they make, we're, we're, sense. We're, they make sense now dad i so. will say this i do not think dad jokes should be relegated just to dads I, I do agree with you on that one. I like their classification, though. I think that's just people with like. dad bods. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I've been preparing <laughs> that my whole <laughs> life. So <laughs> ready. <laughs> All right. Thank you, All guys. right. Thank you, everybody. This Filipino American life is produced by Michael Nailat. Our intro and outro music is by Roger Habon, aka Ten Point Four Raj. Resident reality checker Gurley Collado, legal advisor Rianne Fajardo, and graphic design by Vincent Collier.